but did not see any action. And it was the same situation for Yanni Lampinen. He was part of the team in August as well, but did not see any action. Yvonne Finesse is in behind the bench. He has been with the national program in one way or another since 2012, a skilled and big team he gets to coach. And Tommy Lampsup, the coach of the Finland team, his first World Junior Championship. Desperation is not part of Finland's game, but he would like to see a little bit from his team today that he feels they did not control the play enough, did not handle the puck enough, and did not go north enough in the loss against Switzerland yesterday. It is Latvia and Finland, or Slovakia and Finland, about to get going here day two of the World Junior Championship. And we are underway. Bielan sends it cross ice. Metal Solomon gets it to center no further. Right back in, Meshar with the floater that goes over top the net. Kemmel trying to settle it down on the far side. Came to the side, Hunzik is on it. Hanzik plays it in behind the net. That gets intercepted. Bielan for Finland will play it back for Heimel Salmi. Heimel Salmi, the only returning defenseman for this Finland team. Koivinen slips it through. Backhander to the front from Kapanen. And that got turned aside. And Slovakia will send this all the way down the ice in an early icing call. Well, we talked about Finland having to be better with the puck coming out of their own zone. Well, put it in your best defenseman's hands, Hamel Sammy. And now you're on the attack. Now you're moving with speed and just a little bit of a backhand. Not a great spot to shoot from, but Andrushek moves over and makes a nice save. But that's how you start moving with the puck out of your own zone. Hallinan from the line lets it go through some traffic. That makes it roll the way in on Patrick Andrushek. Turns it aside. Good positioning there, and it's cleared back up at the line and set up at center ice. That's as far as that play gets, and Hukkinen will carry it right back in. Hukkinen had it knocked off of his stick and grabbed off by Simon Nemitz. Nemitz will send a backhand pass. It does make its way up the center. Big hit as Ballinen stepped into his man and down and still down is Chernik and slow to get up and makes his way back to the Slovak bench. Newman. He'll get rubbed out by Sturback. Natney's after it, and he'll send it to the line. No one there in a white jersey. So Finland able to hold it in. Newman's shot gets turned away. He grabbed off and back up to center for Zlina. Adam Zlina hits the Finland line no further. And Irvesti will gather in the loose puck. Sends it on for Punks to Kapanen. Irvesti back in, sends a backhander deep. Finland in on the attack. Pevaranta trying to play it back at the line. Does. Bison it. Back for Kapanen. Kapanen turns and sends it in. And now Slovakia will control. To the line and no further by Libor Nemitz. And back for Funtek. Pavel Funtek, 6 6 2 7. Sent back in, and Simon Nemitz, the captain of the Slovak squad, sends it up at center. Gets intercepted, cleared back. Kopi Roni will play it back into his own end. Vilan sends it across for Heimelsoni. Off the stick of Brad Lambert. And Vilan will control at center. Will get sent in. Comes back at the line. Velen will control. Try to get that through some traffic. On the ammo was headed to the front of the net. And the puck deflects up and out of play. Well, Alex Chernik moving along the boards here, and he gets smushed pretty cleanly there by Malinin. And you can see where his head, just at the top part of the dasher boards. He was bleeding and could understand where it happened as he ends up leaving the bench. As he's trying to crunch down, all of a sudden Malinin comes in there with some force and just unfortunate where his head made contact with the dasher board. Tried to slip the check and Malinin was having nothing of it. Finished his check. 
Nashar, the Montreal draft pick, will float this in. Goes in after it. Puck moves. Otto Salen will chase it down for Finland. He gets pressured there by Mayshard. It's back in behind where Malinen will control. Malinen on for Koivinen. He'll wind his way to the Slovak line. Sends it through for Oliver Kapanen. Kapanen gets rubbed out in behind the net. Puck comes free. Servak Petrovsky sends it up the boards. Kemmel is there to break it up. Kemmel will leave it at the line, a shot through traffic, and that ticked off the outside of the net on the glove side of Andrushik. Kapanen turns to the forehand, tried to send it down low, could not. Now it comes up at center, and Bill and Kemmel trying to catch Slovakia on a line change. Plays it through for Koivinen, but Sikora got back quickly. Sikora will send it on to Grosch, and he'll play it around the boards to the line. and does not get out. Kemets, one of the Prince George Cougars of the Western Hockey League, will dump it in. Rutzelainen plays it around, and this will get lifted out by Cali Weissenden. Back out at center ice. Weissenden a goal and an assist in the overtime loss against Switzerland. Dalibor Dvorsky trying to bust his way through. Nothing doing there. Putin in on the loose puck, and he'll leave for Bielan. There was a time when Slovakia played back, and, you know, they weren't really being aggressive you know, stepping up in the neutral zone or trying to look in transition. But under Craig Ramsey, their national team coach, the philosophy has changed. They attack, they look for transition, they step up in the play. No significant adjustment in the way Slovakia plays all the way through their system. And Finland saw that yesterday with Switzerland. Switzerland started the game very, very passive. Five men in the neutral zone, and then all of a sudden they went to more of a four check almost realizing what you talked about, the change in defense for Finland. And a very good effort by Switzerland yesterday. You can never be a fast team if you can't pass the puck well. I don't care how fast you skate. If you don't pass the puck well, you're not fast. And that's what Finland ran into the problem yesterday. They've run into some of the same problems here early on. Good break out there by Finland. This will get backhanded in by Pavarenta. Konsta Kapanen finds the loose puck in the Slovakian zone. Try to get it back into the high slot, looking for Weissen, and he got deflected away. And the Slovaks now in on the forecheck. Off the boards and down the ice it goes, and this will be an icing call against Finland. Finland lost in the gold medal game to Canada in August in Edmonton, and this is a very different team. We talked about the back end, and maybe not as clean, maybe not not as clean with the puck. And they don't have as much skill up front. They're, 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 they're challenged with skill throughout their lineup, so the margin for error really thin. Such a big change on the back end for Finland from last year. They got so much production from the back end. Kofi Nibola had six assists in the tournament. Casper Piotto had four goals and seven points. Brad Lambert after it in the corner. Lambert sends it up the right side boards. Down low it goes. Roney in front got bumped and knocked down. Heimel Salmi will hold this in. No, he won't. Comes off the stick and Finland on the regroup. Vila through for Brad Lambert. Lambert interviewed after the game yesterday, said we weren't attacking enough. We didn't win enough one-on-one -on -one battles. Kemmel, the captain of this Finland squad, plays it in deep, or captain, rather, the captain of the Finland squad sends it deep. At the line, Malinen walks in, lets the shot go, that's turned aside. Malinen on it again. Heimel Salmi through traffic, that's deflected, goes wide. Controlled in the corner. And the Slovak squad trying to gain some control in its own end. Dvorsky finally sends it around. Ends up on the stick of Mayshar. Mayshar will play it for Funtak and he'll dump it in. Heimel Salmi, he'll get bumped in behind the net. Takes a shove on the play from Adam Sikora. 
who had banged up a little bit in a pre-tournament game against Canada, but is all right. Malinen winds his way through center, gets turned over at the Slovak line. Bako going after it, couldn't get a stick on that, and Finland right back in with Newman. Newman will dump it off. Putin is getting it back to Newman. Buck ends up in the corner. Shot, that's turned aside by Andershek. Putin in with a big hit in behind the net. That knocked his man off the puck. That was Simon Bechar. Comes back at the line for Rutzelainen. Rutzelainen slides it through. Big hit there's getting rubbed out was Mietman. And now the Slovaks will just dump this down the ice, and this will be another icing call. So nearing the midway mark of period one, Finland coming off the loss yesterday, and this is the opening game of this World Junior Championship for Slovakia. And we're seeing some close quarter contact. Hutinen, a big player for Finland. I mean, his, his skating has improved so significantly. There's Chernak with a Band-Aid on the right side of his face. Putin in 6'2", 209. Kapanen looking for that low glove corner, misses the net. Tuck around at the line, Yimmy Suomi, and Suomi gets rubbed up with a hard hit there from Robert Bako. Plays with the Moose Jaw Warriors in the Western Hockey League. Shot score! Sharp angle goal that finds its way to the back of the net, and Finland has the opening tally. Jimmy Suomi, you talk about picking yourself up off the mat and getting right after it. Well, Jimmy Suomi takes a big body check from Baco. He's down. Okay, let's just make sure that I'm okay. Gathers himself, takes a look. Oh, here comes the puck. A little slip right on the stick and buried, yeah? That'll make you happy. Whatever hurt you were feeling goes away pretty soon. And you see Andrzej there deep into the net on the goal line. A lot, a lot of net to see there. But what a good play by Jimmy Suomi. So Sammy Pivarenta will get the opening goal of this game. There's a look at the shots. So what we talked about with the Finland squad wanting to be a little more aggressive, a little more desperation in the game, handling the puck more, going after the puck more. They got the one goal lead and they are out shooting Slovakia. Eight nothing so far here in the opening period. Shovel back in behind the net. As Slovakia down one now. Zelenka plays it to the front of the net. Libor Nemitz bangs at it. Puck is loose. And Yanni Lampinen gets his first action of this game. Finds it and smothers it. Finland with the 1 0 lead. Sammy Pivarinta with the opening goal. time you connected your website and your store was also the first time you realized well, we can do anything cheesecake cookies the chooky manage all your sales from one place with a partner that always puts you first GoDaddy tools and support for every small business first my hair started thinning in my early 20s I'm genetically predisposed so we created Nutrafol Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement it's never too late to improve your hair health get started at Nutrafol.com slash men Finland up by a score of one to nothing. Craig, you mentioned Finland's loss to Canada in August in Edmonton. Here's the returning players from that squad. Yeah, that experience helps them. You were talking to Brad Lambert 
This is his fourth time coming to a World Junior Tournament. Last December, obviously started but wasn't completed until August. So you think about that experience for Brad Lambert. He's had a lot of them. Finnish League, now in the American League with the Manitoba Moose. The players' resiliency has been pretty impressive from my point of view, what's gone on through the pandemic over the last just about three years. Well, and he talked yesterday about how different each tournament has been. From no fans, the bubble, to some fans, to now we are back to normal. And again, a terrific crowd here at Avenir Arena in Moncton. Great crowd in Halifax yesterday for both games. Both games well attended here. There's a shot. Andrew shook down on the short side. As Koivinen had tried to get that one through, Melanin at the line. Good save by Andrushik as that got deflected. Nemitz will play this up the boards. And controlled by Meshar. Long pass up at center. Hatzik will get this to the line and in. Simon Nemitz, sharp angle. And Lampinen down makes the save on the short side. And Finland will control. Pavarinta from Suomi and Irvesti. Scoring play for Finland. Goal coming at 8.54, period one. So like yesterday, Finland getting the opening goal of the game. See whether they can build on that here in this game against Slovakia. Dvorsky, wrist shot, blocker save. Lampin and he punches that up over the glass and up into the netting and we'll get a stoppage in play. One nothing. Finland with the lead here at Avenir Arena. Day two of the World Junior on TSN. Oh, icy hot pro. Ice works fast to freeze your pain and your doubt. Heat makes it last, so you'll never sit this one out. Icy Hot Pro with two max strength pain relievers. This holiday season, give your family the gift that keeps on going. Our very own Energizer Bunny. Energizer Ultimate Lithium. <laughs> the number one longest lasting AA battery. Yuri Slavkovsky, Simon Nemitz, and Philip Mayshar, first round draft picks. Well, Dalibor Dvorsky is going to be a first round draft pick as well. And just a little slide in here, then that quick release. He forces Lapinen into a real good save. He's playing in Sweden, and along with his teammate here, Samuel Honzik, who plays in Vancouver with the Giants in the Western Hockey League. Slo Slovak hockey's really looking good. Shot through some traffic save made. Nemitz with the blast to the far side and a good blocker save by Lampinen. Taken by Kapanen. Punch to Kapanen. On for Pivarenta. He'll send it in. Doesn't get it deep and right back for Slovakia. Out to center ice it comes. Pivarenta trying to drive that back into the Slovak zone. Servak Petroski. Plays it back into his own end, and Simon Nemitz will settle things down as his teammates will make the change. Simon Nemitz, number two overall for the New Jersey Devils. Intercepted at the line, and now cleared out before Weissman could do anything with it. Veland plays it on for Brad Lambert. Lambert hits the line with Toby Roney. Jammed in behind the net. Lambert tracks it down. Lambert trying to lose the checking of Maxim Sturback. Back to the line it comes. Beelan rips it through some traffic. It goes off the body and wide. Lambert. Lambert in a puck battle in the corner. Peter Ripchick, 21, first Slovakia, trying to work it out of the corner. Libor Nemitz tried to direct some traffic as well. Natby is into the pile. Amioma there for Finland. We'll let them sort it out. <laughs> well, those pucks have chips in it. I wonder what the chip's going to say on that play. Yeah. Yeah. I've been parked here for a long time. Lambert trying to cut to the middle of the ice, poked off of his stick. Tommy Nola and Lambert and Roney will head to the bench on the line change for Finland. Kemmel waits for it, drifts it back to the left point. 
Melanin trying to send it back down low, didn't get much on it off the heel of a stick. Quick pass up the middle. Nishar sending that one through. And unable to track that. Then down was Chernik, who was back on after getting shaken up earlier in this opening period. Kemmel throws it cross ice. That gets intercepted by Grosch. Tried to poke it out out of the zone. Could not. Kept in at the line by Otto Salem. And now backhanded around the boards by Funtek and out the center ice it comes. Gorski will play it through. And a shot from the left side by Tiernik gets steered wide. Nemitz at the blue line. Sent it across. Rister through some traffic there by Simon Beshar. And that went wide. Beshar jumps in. Short side try goes off the body and wide. And Salen will circle back and sends it back in behind his own net for Rutzelainen. Simon Nemitz is so poised with the puck. He's 18 years old. I can't imagine as he gains experience how much more that poise is going to pay dividends. And Nemitz with the puck. Plays it around the boards. Stefanczyk trying to get a handle on it. Can't. And it's back in the corner. Jammed ahead by Nemitz. Never did get the back hole. Back to the line. And jumping on it is Suomi. Sharp angle try. Andrzejczyk makes the save. Came to the side of the net. Finland back in on the attack. Vietnam plays it back. Irvestein. He was looking for that cross ice pass. And the pass just a little bit beyond the reach of Newman. Irvesty will send it across. And Phelan will settle it down in behind his own net for Finland. Off for cross to Kapanen. Pivaranta going in after it. Back at the line for Vilan. Pivarenta has to get away from him. Skurback will play it around the boards. And Slovaks at center. Mayshar will drive it in. Lampinen, Vilan, Kapanen. And it's backhanded out the center and big foot tack. There to send it off. Kemets will play it through. This gets tracked down. Petrovsky with the quick wrister. And a save made. One nothing Finland with the lead and good save there by Lampinen as he finds that one through some traffic. No, not now. Uh, yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. What's that? I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply in minutes and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Oh, nice save. <laughs> Saving the day is easy. The CashNet USA. When you need money fast, be the hero. Go to CashNetUSA.com. Historical for Slovakia last year with the first two picks in the draft. Uri Slavkovsky and Simo Nimitz. Philip Mayshar going 26 in the draft, but then after that, Adam Sikora played in the World Championship, Servak Petrovsky playing in Owen Sound, and Adam Zelenka, real spark plug of a player, and it's only getting better. You know, Miro Shatan, who's taken over as the head of the Slovakia ice hockey, you know, he's got to feel really good about how the young players are progressing and the talent that's coming out of the system. Koivinen will send this back for Malinin. On for Salin and back for Malinin. To the line, no further. Nemitz will break this up. And puts it back into the Finnish end of the ice. And Malinin will circle back. And he'll find his defense partner, Otto Salin. And back it goes. And Malinin will control. Off the stick as the... Return pass wasn't where it needed to be. Ripchick trying to work it free. Kemets is in from the line. Sends it into the corner. Here's a 
shot that goes down low. Shot to the side of it, that gets turned aside. Good work there by referee Peter Schlittenhart, who was saying it was just like it was back in the other corner, say best from having to describe it. Nemitz will throw this around the wall. Ebor Nemitz will send it back out at center. Taken by Sol, me and Jimmy Sol, me will send it back in and assist for him in this game. He and Zelenka get tied up in behind the play. Suomi walks in and ripped the wrister over top the net. Andrushik watched that one as he tried to get that right arm up. Jam to the line, doesn't get up on the first try, will on the second. Dvorsky and Sikora play give and go. Chernik trying to get away from Suomi. Back it comes at the line. Sturback trying to drift that one through some traffic. Never got it through. The 17 year old Maxim Sturback. 6'2", 190. This gets cleared back in and Erbersti is on it. The Etnan winds his way to the line. And one too many moves at the line. Offside called against Finland. Jimmy Suomi steps right in here and doesn't need a big wind up. He just flings this over the net and gets it. Through the traffic, Andrushik was on it. So only step in a really good offensive player. It's probably one of those players, Dennis, that's at 22, 23 is when the physical maturity will be able to handle things. This gets intercepted, pass for Meshar in the near side. And play whistle down, there is going to be a penalty on the play as the odd man rush with Hanzik and Meshar. Creates a scoring chance. Finland penalty number 21. Two minutes hooking. And Heimo Salmi will go to the box for hooking. Transition. This is where Slovakia jumps right in there and gets right after it. They're attacking. And Heimo Salmi with the hook there. And just kind of right into the heel of Meshar. Hanzik looking across there. Two skilled players, two guys you want with the puck in that spot. Just miss, but draw a penalty. Team in Finland, the penalty. Face off win for Slovakia. Two minutes for hooking at 18. And Slovakia goes to the man advantage. Nevitz off the line. Power play last year, 20%, not last year, last tournament in August. Sherbak Petrovsky. Up top, Nemitz. Back for Petrovsky and back for Nemitz. He'll send it cross ice. Meshar looking for the stick of Zelina, and that just missed. Three. Petrovsky puts it back. Hanzik, Zlinka heads to the front of the net, off that back post. Petrovsky, Nemitz rattles one in from the line, and Lampinen makes another good stop. Lampinen's been right on it, like really tracking the play nicely, eyes on the play, getting himself into the right positions. And Nemitz, who's really, really good, he wants the puck, and he's got a stick ready, and then he shoots it right off the pass. So Lampinen has to be right on top of that, a little bit of a delay, and a lot more difficult save is going to have to be made. Oliver Kaplan comes up to take the faceoff for Finland. He won 11 of 17 faceoffs yesterday in that overtime loss against Switzerland, 64%. He was the best of the Finnish players in the faceoff department. Quick shot by Chernik. That never got to the net. Comes back at the line. Nemitz will floor. Sturback will float that one through. It gets turned aside. Sikora's on it. Sikora. Sends it back in behind that first power play of the game, and it goes to Slovakia. Ripchik plays it off for Dalibor Dvorsky. Dvorsky for Sturback. Sturback, cross ice, comes back for Dvorsky. Takes a look up at the clock. Dalibor Dvorsky, bank pass back for Maxim Sturback. Sturback shot, got blocked by Kapanen. Back for Dvorsky, quick shot. Save, rebound, score! Late in the opening period, Peter Ripchik. Finds the rebound before Lampinen does. And Slovakia has tied this game up at one.
You have to be quick in your decisions and then quick in your actions. That's exactly what Dalibor Gaborski does here. He understands that he's got the puck, and then he gets the puck quickly off his stick. He decides, boom, and then there's the play coming off the pads of Lapinen, and Repchik makes no mistake about it. Lapinen doesn't know where it is, but because Dvorsky, once he moves into that spot, fires it quickly, now Lapinen's forced to make that save. He doesn't get a great read on it, and then the puck's laying there for Repchik, and Emil Sami. At least he doesn't throw the water bottle. He just gives it a little tap. And... Back to Dvorsky looked up at the clock to see what was left yep. in the period. Real good understanding of what was unfolding around him. So Peter Ripchick spent some time in the Quebec Junior League and the Quebec Junior League last season. And ties this game up 1 1 with the power play goal late in the period. So the shots at one time that were 8 0 in favor of Finland end up 9 9 after the opening period in a 1 1 tie. when you can build on AWS. Imagine creating cool stuff that can make ordering tacos a breeze and let you watch every shot from every player anywhere you want. Learn about investing in the coolest companies and watch your favorite team from the other side of the world. Just imagine what they can do when I'm in charge. Whoa. The puck, he gets it through traffic. No. He understands where there's other options. And I think about him and think about 18 years old and the poise he displays and I think that the New Jersey Devils as they look forward with him and Luke Hughes on the blue line. Wow is all I could say. He does have some skill. Interesting how Philip Mayshaw when we chatted with him said that him and Simone wanted to be leaders for this team and we are seeing that 20 minutes into this World Junior Championship. So the second period gets going. First game of this championship for Slovakia. Finland coming off that 3 2 overtime loss. Tilio Biaska had the winner in overtime for Switzerland. Switzerland and Latvia, our second game here in Moncton. Coming up at 5 o'clock local. Haimo Salmi chased back into his own zone. Long pass up at center, Koivinen hits the line with Oliver Kapanen. Kapanen will track this down to the near corner. Ima Salmi in from the line, trying to slam it back down low, could not. And Bielen will take it back into his own end. Sends it through and Koivinen will play it on. Centering pass off the heel of the stick as Hutnin didn't get enough on the pass. Now taken by Hanzek and he'll float it cross ice. Up at center, Bashar will send it the rest of the way in. Putin will get it up at center. Kathanaki in on the lay shot with a, to the near side. That never got through. Cleared up at center. And that's as far as that play gets. And Dalbert Dvorsky will take it back into his own end. Greg mentioned he plays in Sweden, is getting into all situations, playing some power play. Kelly Vicenin scoots his way into the Finland zone. Off this step, keeps on going, gets tied up in the corner with Sturback, and the puck goes up and out of play. You know, I'm watching Finland, Dennis, and you know, I see a team that looks like it was built for a different type of game than we see on a regular basis in today's hockey. You know, kind of chasing the puck down. You know, they don't seem to be connected, a great Kevin Sawyer word. Like, you know, in their play and in their transition and in their pace. Everything looks slow and off kilter. Like, they're just going to go get the puck. We've seen a couple of those scrums in the corners on the puck. It seems that that's the way they want to play. And, 
Looks like that's the type of players they have, but not so sure that that's going to lead to success in today's style of hockey. Control at the line. Funtak trying to drive it through. Comes off the body. Libor Nemitz is on the loose puck. Puck battle in the corner. Jammed up the wall. Nemitz trying to control it. Can't. Irvesty is on it for Finland. Irvesty will send this in in a foot race. And Costa Kapanen gets there first. And then Big Funtak rubs him out. Brad Lambert ties his man up, puck it back at the line. I was Salming goes cross ice, and a wrister gets turned aside. Finland now with a little bit of pressure. Amiola gets it back at the line. Brad Lambert puts on the brakes. Lambert trying to play it back at the line, gets tied up there with Libor Nemitz. Hami now pokes it to an open corner. Roney, Haimo Salmi, back for Roney, bouncing puck off the shaft of the stick. Ripchick got in front of it. Hami Noah stays on it, back at the line. Haimo Salmi, Bielan, Bielan's blast, that got blocked. Zlinka got in front of it. Cleared down, and this will be an icing call against Slovakia. This is the tired Slovakia group out here right now. Throw some players out on the ice, maybe have a little bit of a delay at the bench, give each other a little bit of a breather. This is an opportunity for Finland in the offensive zone here against a tired Slovakia group. When your goaltender has to be dialed right in, get a puck out of play, cover it up somehow, some way. Early second period, day two of the World Junior Championship. Slap shot scores! Jakob Kemmel, who led Finland in scoring in August, wires one from the top of the circle, and a 2 1 lead for Finland. Slovakia paid the price for that icing, and you know, Finland got right after it, and they moved the puck around, they ended up winning the puck, and then Kemmel gets wide open, and that puck's off his stick, and behind Adrashek in a flash. Just a real display of the skill that Joachim Kemmel has. 12 points of the tournament in August, Finland silver medalist. Just a fantastic play, and such a talented player. That's happiness. Face-offs were an issue for Finland yesterday against Switzerland. And we mentioned this in the opening period. Oliver Kapanen was 64.7% in the face-off department yesterday. And that play starts from the icing call. Face-off win by Oliver Kapanen. And Joachim Kemmel finds the back of the net. And Finland with the lead. And you think about how offense has been encouraged, right? Like, so no change on an icing. Team gets to pick which side of the ice they want to face off the tap and it goes over to a strong side. Unbelievable some of the adjustments they've made in the rules to encourage offense. And a great example of it right on that goal. Four goals and 12 points for Kemmel in the August tournament. The Nashville draft pick and Finland back up top by one. Made the mistake on the winning goal against Switzerland on opening day, but he's too good a player not to have him out there regularly and to be counted upon. There's a good play. Kemmel makes sure that the puck can't get controlled by Slovakia, and then he just opens up beautifully, takes the stick, puts it back in his holster, and says, okay, on to the next one. Plays Liga in Finland. Some good numbers there. Team Finland. Iwasami plays it cross ice and the shot by Roots Alignan through some traffic doesn't get through. Bishar will send it in and goes in after it. The defenseman in on the four check. Kelly Bison and Otto Salad get the assists on the goal. Sikora will chase this. Sikora. 
Takes Ritzelainen to the backboards. Bouncing puck to the front. In from the line is Natney. David Natney, who had an assist in the August tournament for Slovakia. And Sturback in his second World Junior Championship. Played as a 16-year-old. Dvorsky gets to the line, winds his way in. Now gets it back and lets a wrist shot go on Lampin and makes the save and holds. Jokic Campbell on the scoring leaders board. Mason McTavish, the MVP of the 2022 World Junior Championship. And Campbell was outstanding. Keep in mind, Campbell had just been drafted in July by Nashville. So he was a young, young player coming to that tournament. A very good one at that. This is the 47th World Junior Championship. The 48th, I guess, if you count the one that was not completed. So the 48th time that everybody has kind of got together for a World Junior. Perfect. Goes up. Bison winds his way through center, looking for that return pass. And Kapanen couldn't get it through. And Ernesty back into his own end. With Heimel Salvi back for Ernesty, knocked out of his out of the air, came off his stick and ended up on the stick of Day. Didn't do anything with it. Dave Reed during the first intermission talked about D to D passes, and they need to be in the 90-95% range, not at 80. There's another example. You know, led to the first goal for Slovakia. Another example, and there's many of them in this game. Brad Lambert drives that to the net. Lambert on it again, sends it back for Heimel Salmi. Heimel Salmi back for Lambert. Lambert gets double teamed. Kemet's trying to knock it away from Lambert. And grabbed off at center ice. Hamiao sends it back into his own end. Heimel Salmi on for Lambert. Lambert going cross ice. Roney tried to track it down. The Calgary draft pick. And he gets flipped up the boards as Slovakia breaks it up. And Cyrnik will look for some open ice. We saw Mason McTavish's numbers at last year's World Junior, the MVP. And it almost overshadows the game winning goal by Ben Johnson. That play he made at the goal line that will live forever, and rightfully so. Golden goal, 17 points, dominant offensively. Mason McTavish remembered for a brilliant defensive play that kept the game moving for Canada in overtime. Cleared into the corner, Malaman chops it up the boards, gets to the line, gets kept in there by Mayshar. Mayshar slips it through, and the shot from Nemitz sails wide. Nemitz waiting for that, but Joachim Kemmel breaks it up. Kemmel sends it on for Oliver Kaplan. Kaplan in the Montreal pick. Wrap around, drive, scores! Oliver Kaplan. With a burst of speed, and for the first time in this tournament, Finland, a two goal lead. Oliver Kapanen has a real burst. He's attacking here down the wing, and then when he sees that he has an opportunity, now he finds a way to fight out the check, and then right he recognizes that Andrushek is vulnerable. And a nice little backhand pass by Kemmel, and then a little quick burst, and right to the net off the skate of Andrushek. And Andrushek is down outside the crease, and that doesn't allow him to get back to deny that play by Kapanen. Fantastic understanding, speed, and recognition of opportunity by Oliver Kapanen. Plays Liga for Kalpa. Seven goals and 14 points in 32 games there, and a big goal here for Finland. There's another chance, and save made a quick release there from Newman. Andrushik was a little bit vulnerable in the net, a little bit out of position. He had to get back scrambling there and make a save. 
Boonton in its center. The pile up in behind the play. Leeport Nevins and Hervesty, and Hervesty now makes his way back to the Finland bench. Leeport Nevins on for Ripchick. Ripchick takes it wide, couldn't shoot it. And they have another corner battle going. Ripchick with Peterborough or with Cape Britain and Charlottetown in the queue this year. Centered in front, and that gets broken up on the play. Alex and Terry Kaskanaki for Finland in the long floor grab and held, and now a little bit of pushing at the side of the net. So, a couple of goals. Oliver Kapanen, Joachim Kemmel, a two-goal lead for Finland on TSN. No, not now. Uh, yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. What's that? I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes, and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Oh, nice save. <laughs> oh. Saving the day is easy. The Castnet USA. When you need money fast, be the hero. Go to castnetusa.com to apply for the money you need now. USA Hockey is teaching more than just a game. We're teaching kids about... Teamwork, confidence, fitness, fun. Because every kid deserves a chance to play, love, and excel. Visit USAHockey.com to learn more about the great youth hockey opportunities available for your child. Because dreaming big is one thing. Getting the right start is everything. NFL on TSN continues with a Thursday night football showdown between the Cowboys and the Titans. Catch the action starting 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific on TSN and CTV2. Two goals on three shots for Finland here in the second period. Oliver Kapanen from Yolk and Kemmel. The last scoring play after Kemmel had given Finland a 2-1 lead. Dvorsky ties his man up down low on his own end. Haverenza trying to work it free, does. Sends it around the boards. Heimel Salmi is in from the line. Grabbed off by Sikora on for Grosch. Trying to clear it up the right side boards. Bielan will hold it in for Finland. And now Slovakia will try it again. Shipped out to center and Heimel Salmi. There for Finland. Taken by Sikora. And Slovakia on the regroup. Kenneth play plays it back for Grosch. He'll play it up at center for Sikora. Adam Sikora taking it wide. Lambert chases him down. Chernik will put this back down for Dvorsky. Dvorsky works it behind the Finland net. On for Nemitz. Nemitz drops it off at the line. Funtak will jump on it. Plays it back for Dvorsky. Tried to get that one through. Lambert blocked it. Loose puck in the high slot. Panzik lets the shot go off the leg and wide. And taken by Bielan. Samuel Hanzik's had a fantastic season with the Vancouver Giants. Mike Dick, the head coach, who was an assistant with Team Canada. Back-to-back -back World Junior Championships. There's that short side try by Lambert. That got turned away. By Andrushik, another shot from the line, that hit a body in front. And a long lead pass, Nemeth was in behind everybody and just had to get away from him. Another scrum in the corner. In the Finland zone. And a pass back to the line, too much on it. For Nanty to handle. David Nanty will chase this back. Has it knocked off of his stick? That long reach of Haminoa. Back in for Libor Nemitz, poked off his stick. Nantony will shovel it in, delayed offside. Nice play by Oliver Kapanen coming back to strip that puck. We saw him score the third goal. That's a real good defensive play by Oliver Kapanen. Solid will send it in. 
Adrashik will stop it. Back off the boards up at center. Ripchick trying to carry it in. Knocked down to one knee. Gets up. Stays in the fight. Now grabbed off and shovel up the boards on the far side by Kaskamaki. Kemmel going in after it. Kaskamaki trying to help out. Kemmel comes up with it. Floats it cross ice for Newman. Go play at the line. Gets the line and Phelan lets the Richter go. That goes wide. Kemmel on it again. Slap shot to the short side. Andershik makes the save. Wasn't sure where it was. Good quick release there from Kaskamaki. Phelan will carry it in. Throws it for Newman. Got away from him. And Ripchick will send it across and it gets bounced out at center ice. Nokan Kemmel's had a big bite of this game, specifically here in the second period. And after the mistake he made in overtime when they lost to Switzerland, he's come back with vengeance on his mind. Big hit by Hooten and in behind the Slovakian net. Across Kervisti. Sends that through Suomi. Hopes to be offside. Play goes on though. Good hit into the sideboards. Vavarinta got bumped. Now he takes a bit of another shot. And Tiernik will send this up at center trying to get Sikora. And Irvesti will track it down on for Suomi. Long pass up the middle, picked off by Tiernik. And this will be offside, called against Slovakia. Two goals here in the second period. And Finland with a 3-1 lead here on TSN. What a great day for a hockey game. The NHL is outdoors once again. Maybe the biggest stage of the regular season. Make your New Year's classical. Side of the net. Outdoor hockey returns. The place is buzzing. What pageantry? Spend your New Year's with us. Coverage of the 2023 Discover NHL Winter Classic begins New Year's Day on NHL Network. Well, we talk about NHL connections in this tournament. Brad Lambert, his dad is Ross Lambert. His uncle is Lane Lambert, who is the coach of the New York Islanders. He was a Detroit Red Wing pick out of Saskatoon, where we had both Lamberts. <laughs> there was a handful with yeah. both of them. Well, Ross was a really yes. good, yeah, I mean, you were there. He was a really good offensive player. And Lane was too. I mean, the eye injury set Lane back to my everybody thought would be a really productive NHL career but as a coach he's certainly finding his way Stanley Cup champion is in the system with the Capitals in 2018 Barry Trotz the head coach now a good job with the New York Islanders and we'll see what time brings for Brad Lambert we talked about this yesterday briefly his Western Hockey League rights are owned by the Seattle Thunderbirds and the Winnipeg Jets non-committal at this point as to what they will do with Brad Lambert. I'm going to weigh in with my opinion. Fire away. Yeah, that's right. Brad Lambert for two seasons before this one has tried to find his offensive game, playing uh, playing in the SM League in Finland, and has like all of a sudden now that's two seasons. Now he's playing in the American Hockey League, a challenging year and a challenging league, and. I'd have him right back in junior. He needs to find his offensive game. Finley going to the power play here. The lay of game penalty. So not the spot you want to find yourself in if you're Slovakia here. And puck there it is right there. Just flipped up and over the glass. And Samuel Honzik inside the defensive blue line. Finland's power play was so good in August. Didn't have the success it wanted in that final game against Canada, but it was magic. I'm going to come back to the Brad Lambert one, and I'm going to use an example that I think you have to learn from some of those. And he's, he's gifted offensively, and he's gifted skill wise. Shot scores! Great feed from Vilan to Newman. And he just rips it. 
the faceoff win. Before and Rashik could get across and even knew the pass was there. Well, Newman gets himself open perfectly. There's the faceoff win, and Newman gets the puck back and then opens himself up. And Andrusik looks like he's kind of shuffling one way and just has no way to get back there. It goes off the inside of the post. And you look at where Andrusik is. I mean, he is so far outside of the crease and just can't get back there. But like Yari Newman said, anybody can put it into the open net. I'm going to put this off the post and in. It's like horse and basketball, right? <laughs> so all of a sudden, Finland has opened up a 4-1 lead. And we have a goalie change for Slovakia. Mate Mirnov comes in. And Finland. A 15-11 advantage in shots on goal and a 4-1 lead with three unanswered here in the second period. And again, a face-off win by Oliver Kapanen. And this goes off a stick and out of play. Three unanswered goals here in the second period by Finland. The last one coming out of power play and a 4-1 lead. I'm Cole Caulfield and I played college hockey. I'm Adam Fox and I played college hockey. I'm Jake Gensel and I played college hockey. I'm Johnny Gaudreau and I played college hockey. Whether you are a fan or a player, nothing compares to college hockey. Icy Hot Pro. Ice works fast to freeze your pain and your doubt. Heat makes it last, so you'll never sit this one out. Icy Hot Pro with two max strength pain relievers. This holiday season, give your family the gift that keeps on going. Our very own Energizer Bunny. Energizer Ultimate Lithium. <laughs> the number one longest lasting double A battery. Well, Yanni Newman, he called his shot, Dennis. He said, I'm going to get right here off the inside post and gets himself wide open. You can see where Andrushek just loses his footing and it just kind of kissed. I, I think it was a, a kiss off the post. That's back in the days when you played without net binders. <laughs> the only way the goal would count is if it went off either the crossbar or the goal post and in. So there's the goaltending change. Four goals allowed on 15 shots by Patrick Andrushek. And Matej Miranov will come into play for Slovakia. Make sharp. Sharp, sharp angle shot. Lampinen gets in front of that and deflects it up and out of play. And, you, you know, you think about Slovakia, they really got their game going at the end of the first period, tied it up. You know, you look at Finland now, three goals on six shots here in the second period. But, like, you know, those mistakes and icing, right? All of a sudden, the puck's in your net. Andrushek, you know, he, he ends up getting caught outside his crease. Kapanen takes advantage. Delay, puck over glass. And all of a sudden, it's 4-1. Now we go over teams. We'll see Latvia in our second game against Switzerland. And the Latvian players talked about that in their game against Team USA. But it came down to the punch man. They just made too many mistakes against a good team. And we're saying we're seeing a different Finland team today than what we saw yesterday. Much more aggressive on the puck. So Oliver Kapanen, who won the faceoff, does get an assist on the goal. Bielan with the other assist, and a marker, of course, from Yanni Newman. But that's where even mistakes, we talk about mistakes. Again, Slovakia isn't being overwhelmed by Finland, but Finland has certainly taken advantage of opportunity. Kemet's back for it. Played up the wall before Hootman could get to it. Sikora waits for it at center. Never does get to him as it's picked off. And Kaskamaki takes it back into his own zone. Hits the line, tried to dance his way through, could not. 
And Kiernick takes it for Slovakia. Dalibor Dvorsky at the line. And now we'll get a complete line change for the Slovaks. Putin will send this in. Sturback plays it around the boards. Slinkle was tied up. Puck around blocked by Ripchick. And Ripchick trying to cut around Vielen. And Vielen, who's been so good in the early going here on the defense for Finland, had nothing doing with that attempt. Now he'll just lift this back out the center and inside. The blue line, it goes. Lead pass, this will get deflected in by Zlinka. And Lampinen will play it for Haimo Solmi, for Roni. And he now will send it the rest of the way in. And another puck battle. Brad Lambert said they didn't win enough puck battles yesterday. Wins that one. Sends it back for Solon. At the line, a shot by Malinen doesn't get through. Lambert trying to hunt it down. And grabbed off and taken by Nemitz. Simon Nemitz scores Linka. He'll get one in on that to Lampin and had no trouble turning aside. Simon Nemitz, if you're playing with Simon Nemitz, you know you're going to get the puck with time and space to do something positive. Doesn't put you in a bad spot. Another great example. Just Hanzik underneath. Great outlet pass by Nemitz. Samuel Hanzik on for Meshar. Philip Meshar. Backhander to the short side. And Lampinen makes the save and hangs on. Simo Nemitz starts his playoff from below his goal line. And then Hanzik gets moving and he gives it right to Mazar on the move. Mazar's thinking about trying to cut across. Doesn't see a clear path there. The things coming back. Oliver Kapanen again defensively. Bazar loves to take the puck into the scoring areas. Kapanen real solid there. Base off win by Slovakia. And Servak Petrovsky wins it. Shot got turned away by Lampinen and Kemmel. Carries right back up the ice. That gets turned over. Kemmel started the scoring in this second period for Finland. There's a shot. Good wrister from the line by Grosch. That went wide. Hanzik gets bowled over in the corner. And the puck bounces up at the line. Right back in for Kappen, who's had a solid game for Finland. Irvesty will send it back. So only on for Irvesty. Under two to go here in the second period. Corner boards for Cali Vikesen. I'm a Solomon from the line. Let's the shot go. Hansik got a piece of that. Vikesen plays it back. Shot that changed directions. And that did not miss by much as Pivaranta, who has won in the game, is looking for another. Vikesen takes it to the net. Save made near it off. Pivo Solomon from the red tees on loads. Couldn't drive it through. And now a break for Chernik. Turned over at the line. Kapanen plays it back. Pivarenta. Sharp angle. Thielen tried to get that to the front of the net. Punts to Kapanen was there. Never did get to him. And now a penalty coming to Hutenen. As he takes the feet up from under Sikora. So a late power play in the opening period for Slovakia created a goal. And they get a late power play here in the second. Team Finland, 29, tripping. You know, good hard work here, but, you know, a spot on the ice where you don't really want to take penalties. He, you know, it's not one of those deliberate trips. The stick ends up there, ends up tripping. Adam Sikora. But it's an opportunity here. We saw what Slovakia did at the end of the first period on the power play. Switzerland and Latvia game two here in Moncton. Some snow this morning as we made our way to Avenir Center. 
beautiful building. It's been open for four years. Crowds in the early going have been fantastic. Bit of an upset yesterday with Switzerland defeating Finland. Certainly an upset in Halifax last night. This gets dropped back by Servak Petrovsky. Carried in by Meshar. Back for Nemitz, Simon Nemitz. Back for Philip Meshar. Trying to find the short side and a good block there by Rutsalainen. Rutsalainen really read that perfectly. Got himself right in a good position to block it. Petrovsky carries in, drops for Meshar. Back for Petrovsky. Short side, high attempt. Swings around. Petrovsky trying to track it down. Nemitz has to hurry. And time runs out here in the second period, but a good period for Finland as Finland scores three. It will take a 4 1 lead into the third period. Is your credit this lead so the fourth goal for Finland and Oliver Kapanen has been at the center of all the significant plays. Ten minutes and 21 seconds of ice time has a goal and an assist. Yanni Newman leads Finland in shots on goal with five and it is the defenseman Topias Bielan with 16 minutes and 38 seconds of ice time to lead Finland in the ice time department as the third period gets going. Not a surprise, Simon Nemitz, 17 and a half minutes of ice time after two periods for Slovakia. So Finland up by three as the third period gets going here in Moncton. Meshar will send it around to the left point, poked away. As Bison in good defensive play there, chases this one back into the Slow back into the ice, but it's up for Meshar. Back at the line for Nemitz. Nemitz being chased there. Pivarenta has been really good in the faceoff department today for Finland, too, winning eight of ten after two periods. To the line for Nemitz. He got triple teamed. And Malinen will pick this up and send this all the way down the ice as the power play. Started late in the second period for Slovakia, about to expire. One shot on that power play for Slovakia. Oliver Kapanen and Sikora battling for a loose puck, who almost turned over. And Miranov had to jump on that to clear it. Grabbed off, though, Finland in on the attack. Newman plays it back to the line of the wrister by Heimer Solny went off a stick and wide. Back up for Dalibor Dvorsky and he gets a high stick from Heimo Salmi. And Heimo Salmi is going to go to the penalty box and Slovakia is going to go right back on the power play. Uh, it's the high stick that got Heimo Salmi in trouble. I mean the play is going on and you can understand as a defenseman why you're trying to stand up there at the blue line, but Finland penalty ends. number 21, two minutes for cross-checking. Cross-checking, high sticking, that, that's what got him into trouble. It's not playing the man or playing the body, it's the stick right into the throat area of Dalibor Dvorsky. Off the top, Craig, you talked about the talent that Slovakia does have and of course missing Jakob Demick who last year was with the Edmonton Oil Kings, played in the summer tournament, and then some surgery. He is out of the lineup. His rights have been traded to Kamloops. Kamloops Blazers will host the Memorial Cup come spring. And Demick is expected to return to the lineup sometime here in the new year. Back-to-back -back Memorial Cups for Jakob Demick. It's certainly missed here by this junior edition of Slovakia. Meshar will send this around the board. And this will get picked up.
picked up, and Weissner will send it all the way down the ice. When you play with Simo Nemitz, he's so good at attracting players to him, you got to find a way to get open, because if you get open, he can get you the puck. You can't watch him, because he's thinking about what he can do to create openings. Power play continues for Slovakia Nemitz. He'll send it down. Zlinka back up top for Nemitz. Cross ice and then gets it back for Meshar. Shot from Petrovsky. Just turned aside. Servak Petrovsky on it again. Sends it back for Nemitz. Nemitz looks across. Meshar unloads. And that was blocked. Zlinka sends it back to Meshar. Meshar into the slot. Short side by Ponzik with the opportunity. And Lampinen with a good save in tight. Yanni Lampinen gets himself into Everybody such fantastic position. And he makes the save. He gets right on top of it. And then as the puck bounces up, he's got his eyes on that just perfectly. That slow motion in real time, his ability to just understand where the puck is, that's awareness. Outstanding save and focus by Yanni Lampinen. His first start of this tournament was part of the August team that lost in that gold medal game to Canada, but he did not see any action in August. And has played well for Finland. Dalibor Dvorsky. As the power play continues, Dvorsky circles to the far side, swings it back for Sturback. Up into the high slot, back for Dvorsky. He'll dish it off. Comes back at the line for Sturback. Shot scores! Sturback gets it through from the point, and it may have been Ripchik in front again, who's the last Slovak player to get a stick on it. Well, Alexei Hamilsave skating back to the bench. He's been in the penalty box for both Slovakia goals, but get the puck to the net, and then you can see where Repchuk steps right in here and finds the rebound. The screen, find the rebound, and a the right leg of Lampin and can't get over there fast enough, and that's just real good hunting the puck in and around the crease area. Good shot. You can see where Repchuk has to kind of slide off of it. Now Slovakia, who have not been overwhelmed in this game in any way, shape, or form, a couple of mistakes got them into trouble, but the power play gets them back into the game. and. There's been these... Swings in the shot clock. It started off 8-0 in favor of Finland. And then 10-9 after one period in favor of Slovakia. And then Finland took over in the second period again. And now Slovakia is leading the shot clock 18-17. Lead pass, Kemmel! And a big save, Piranov. Mark that one down here early in the third period. As Kemmel was looking for his second of the game. This gets stopped on the far side, Kaskamaki. And then hammered in from center ice by Salon, and Miradov will leave it. Kemets is on it for Slovakia. This gets turned over inside the line. In front of Newman. Couldn't control that pass from Kaskamaki. Hanzik swings it around in behind his own net for Slovakia. Assisted by number four, Maxim Sturbach. And by number 22, Nevitz. Had it get away from him. Then across for Mayshard. Mayshard couldn't get anywhere as he tried to find some room inside the line. Chernik and Sturbach with the assist on the marker. By Ripchik, his second of the game. Had a goal in the August tournament. Scores! Sharp angle. Brad Lambert finds the top corner. And a big response here by Finland. They had three pretty good chances. Kemmel and then Newman. And then Brad Lambert just streaking down the wing. And he opens up enough space for himself, but... The problem here is that Miranov completely misses it with his glove. It's not like he doesn't have a beat on it, but he's 
down on one knee and then misses it on that short side. And that's one of those ones where you have... He makes a great save on Campbell, then he lets that one in. That's a, that's a tough one. Buck 39 between the two goals as Brad Lambert gets his first of this tournament. And just like that, Finland up by three again. Finland has been opportunistic in this game, to say the least, after a tough loss yesterday. Lambert did have a goal in the August tournament. This will get dumped in. Back for it. Defenseman Feeling. He'll get some help. I'm with Salmi trying to tie his man up against the backboards. Brad Lambert waiting for it up the near side. Should it ever come off the back wall? Shot save, rebound. Oh, that's swinging through all attempt. Through the legs by Dalibor Dvorsky, and that almost worked. Lampin and just got enough of it, and then wasn't sure where that puck was. Lambert from Irvesty, so Irvesty picks up his second assist of the hockey game. What a chance for Dalibor Dvorsky. Tommy now to the line and no further. Up for Kapanen with that opportunity to bust his way in. Bounces around at the side of the net. This gets cleared. Nemitz plays it up top. Zlinka back for Nemitz. Fun tack from the line. Save made by Lampinen. Tied up in the corner, and Finland will start back. Kapanen takes the pass inside the line, shovels a backhander across, and Ripchick breaks it up. Ripchick with two in the game for Slovakia. Sends it in, and now he'll turn it head to the bench as Slovakia starts a line change. Suomi, Hervesty has to chase this one down. Mayshark closes in on him. And Irvesty sends it back for Jimmy Suomi. Pass beyond the reach of Irvesty. Koivin and couldn't handle it either. And Sturback will take it back into his own end. Gets it to the line. Hansek will send it in. Sturback plays in the USHL with Sioux Falls. Track down. Samuel Hanzik spins it back in behind the net. Unable to get to that with Servak Petrovsky. And it's clear to the line, does come out. Slovakia will clear the zone. Suomi. And this will get sent in. By Kaskamaki. Controlled in the corner. Hoopman trying to get that up into the high slot. Reflected off the stick and up in center. Kemets sends it back in. Dvorsky takes a shoulder there from Vilan. Sirnik trying to get that to the front of the net. Pile up. And this will have enough to get across for icing. Slovakia making it 4 2. And after 5 2, getting in and around the net, getting some opportunities. Dvorsky knows where that puck is, and you can see how he tries to maneuver it back to his back, or to his forehand, and try to get it inside the post. He just misses. That's a really good defensive play by Molina in number seven to get a stick in there and deny Dvorsky. Excuse me, it wasn't Molina, it was. Lean with the puck now. Newman couldn't get a handle on it. Zlinka will chase 
this down. Zelenka gets pulled over by Kaskamaki. Puck up the boards for Hootenin. Through for Newman. Newman carries in, rips that one, and Miranoff got a piece of it. Miranoff has made some big saves and some good saves. And probably would like that one for Brad Lambert back, but the good quick release by Lambert. Got by him on the glove side. Tough start for Slovakia. Finland today, and right back at it tomorrow against Team USA. We're not happy with their tournament in August. The couple of very one-sided losses. Lost 9-3 to Finland, lost 11-1 to Canada. And then they lost a close one to Czechia, but the one that really hurt was the overtime or the shootout. Lost to Latvia 3-2, and that's the one that ultimately, when Latvia defeated Czechia, it was that loss that ultimately kept them from getting to the quarterfinals. Here comes Kapanen, Kapanen for Koivinen at the line, and offside is called against Finland. So the three-goal lead remains. Ripchik cut it to two, and then Brad Lambert put it back to three. Icy Hot Pro. Ice works fast to freeze your pain and your doubt. Heat makes it last, so you'll never sit this one out. Icy Hot Pro with two max strength pain relievers. This holiday season, give your family the gift that keeps on going. <laughs> Energizer Ultimate Lithium. <laughs> the number one longest lasting AA battery. Come on, Carter. So you don't have him on skates yet, huh? He's only six months old. I guess hockey's not really his thing. Come on, buddy. Get it, get it, get it. Should probably start saving for college. Ah, oh, good job. Who doesn't love redemption? You know, Joachim Kemmel with the mistake versus Switzerland in overtime. Gets involved physically early in this game, and then on the rush, a little beautiful backhand pass to the streaking Oliver Kapanen, and then gets himself in perfect position, and this puck comes off his stick in a flash. And Joachim Kemmel, just a day later, it's a different look on his face. It's a real important player here for Team Finland going forward because there's not a ton of skill up front, and he possesses a lot of it. It will get interesting as this week does continue with what happened yesterday. The win by Switzerland certainly makes it a bit of a different tournament for Latvia and Slovakia. Even for Finland, I guess, although they seem to have bounced back in this game today. Czechia's win over Canada last night certainly puts a bit of a different spin on the pool over in Halifax. Played back at the line, and the shot that goes off to stick it over top the net, so Czechia's pulled off a couple of big upsets. Of course, quarterfinals last in August, eliminating the United States. Now they open up. 2023 World Junior with the win last night. Koivinen gets to center, slows it down, backhands it in. Into the back half of period number three here in Moncton. Finland with six straight wins over Slovakia at the World Junior. The last Slovakian win was in 2015. There's a Hit at the line, and it comes for Topi Ronnie, and he misfired on the shot. Roney trying to chase that down, and play gets whistled down. And Peter Repchik, who has two in the game, with a good hit there on Topi Roney. Every night, while they chase victory, on the fly chases every big moment of every game. Get all the highlights and preview tomorrow all in one show. On the fly, late nights and early mornings on NHL Network. Does your bank invest for you? I bet it doesn't. Acorn's checking does. 
It's banking for the growth-minded. Acorns, grow your own. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. The big interview. Don't be nervous. You took classes from Yale and Google. I'm ready. You're more than ready. So let's do this. With over 5,000 courses and degrees from world-class institutions on Coursera. Learn without limits. Canada's run at the 2023 World Juniors continues tomorrow. Canada will take to the ice against Germany. Tune in 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific on TSN. The future of hockey lives here. Canada with 19 gold medals over the years of this tournament to lead the way. Trying to go back to back. Canada the last team to go back to back. Not the start Canada was looking for last night, but sometimes adversity isn't a bad thing. Suomi getting chased back into his own end by Zlinka. He'll reverse to Irvesty, and Irvesty will play it up at center. Aminao will send it the rest of the way in, going after it. Kofi Roney, who took that bump, is back out there. And Brad Lambert also out there to finish off that trio, who has the last Finland goal. Cross ice pass, and it goes. Lapidum makes a huge stop in tight off of Simon Grosch. Opportunity for Slovakia and a huge save by Lampinen. Newman going after it, couldn't get a real good handle on it. Hanzik right back in for Slovakia. Slovaks down by three here in the third, but a couple of chances. Mishar's after it. Ballinen trying to find some room, can't. And kept in by Nemitz. Nemitz to the forehand, sends it wide. And Malinen grabs it off the corner boards. Slowly to center and backhands it back into the Slovak zone. Some of the problems that plagued Finland against Switzerland are plaguing them here again against Slovakia. And it's nice to be winning 5-2, and they've certainly played much better and a lot more purposeful, but... They don't clean up some of these areas of their game. They're going to have a tough time getting in to any type of metal position. Bouncing puck back in and Suomi on it again. Hervesty comes rink wide. Kapanen plays it through. Pivarinta trying to catch up to it. And it comes up the boards and grabbed off and cleared by Sakura. No room there for Chernik. He got rubbed out. Kapanen and ties his man up, and the puck is loose. And Velen will send that off a leg. Kemmel goes after it. Kemmel turns back door. Oh, what a save. What a setup. Oliver Kapanen with a glorious opportunity. But what a pass by Joachim Kemmel. Mate Miradov with a big stop. Tapping it on and again. Kemmel tees it up. Ouch. That got blocked. Sturback went down in front of that. And Maxim Sturback is going to limp his way back to the Slovak bench. As Kemmel absolutely unloaded. Commitment of players to block shots. Maxim Sturbeck just, he, 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 I got to get there. And he does. And Kemmel can shoot it. And Sturbeck doing everything he can to make sure that puck doesn't get to his net. Centering pass. Quick release there. That one over top the net. Having now with the opportunity in the high slot. 
4,617 in attendance for this noon start local time between Finland and Slovakia. You know, Dennis, last year before the tournament got paused, we were in Red Deer and we watched Slovakia. Their first two games, they played five periods out of six that were outstanding. Yep. And then that's what made the August tournament so disappointed for them because it was just the exact opposite. And despite a few mistakes here today, I, they've been in this game. They've had opportunities and certainly lapping it for Finland. The goaltender has been very good. They were missing some key pieces in the August tournament. Some of the top draft picks that we talked about earlier were not in the lineup. They sure one of them. Here he comes, trying to work it to the side of the net. Dvorsky sends it back at the line. Kemets with the shot. Watch the rebound. Oh, what a chance off that backside. Set up at center ice. Newman will carry back in for Finland. Newman has had a good game for Finland. Pile up in front of the net. Comes back at the line. Thielen trying to get that in. Off the side boards. Leisenden is after it again. Now grabbed off by Adam Sakura. Plays it back. Kemets. And now three left to go here in the third period. And Finland up by three. Kaborski tried to take that to the outside, could not. And Weissman will send us back to the Slovak blue line. Taken by Sturback right back out there after blocking that shot and limping his way to the bench. Kemmel, who did the damage on the shot, sends it in for Kapanen. Lost to Kapanen, taken hard into the corner boards by Sturback. Comes back out the blue line. Salen rubbed out. And the puck wrapped off. And another big hit as Kemmel comes across and steps into his man. Solid jolt there on Simon Nemitz by Joachim Kemmel. 5-2. There's the hit by Kemmel. Some men and women freak out when they first notice signs of hair loss. Some say, no big deal. I don't look much different. Either way, hair loss does sneak up on you. And if you do nothing, chances are you'll soon see your hair getting thinner and thinner and thinner. All while a range of great options are available to you right now. Before you lose any more hair, grab your phone and scan this QR code. Because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can stop your hair loss and give you your real hair back permanently. We're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who scans the code now. But remember, the sooner you get started, the sooner your results of great looking hair. For a free information kit and gift card for $250 off, scan the code. Don't wait, scan the code now. Get the permanent solution to hair loss. Protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Joachim Kemmel has had his place in this game in a big way. A goal and an assist, the breakaway chance. And this pass that he makes to Oliver Kapp, and he's kind of looking off. And that is threading the needle between the legs of Repchik. And what a fantastic save by Marinov. Joachim Kemmel has that offensive gift. I mean, he's on the far boards, and all of a sudden, it's a scoring chance. He sees the play, he can shoot it. Sturbeck had to step right into the way of one of those big Kemmel shots. To me, he's their most gifted, most talented player on this team, Finland. When I was looking at the lineup yesterday, I was a little bit puzzled that he was the 13th forward. He's anything but a 13th forward. Yeah, it was kind of a late decision there whether he was going to be in the lineup or not. And certainly has been very good in this game today. Bouncing puck at center. Nemes will play it back into his own zone. And if Team Canada wants any inspiration about, we talked about redemption. Well, Joachim Kemmel certainly put good use to his opportunity. Nemitz at the line with a long floater that's grabbed and held 
by Lampinen and we'll get a face off in the Finland zone. I mentioned 4600 fans in the building. Moncton people very thrilled to have this world championship here later this week. Hopefully we'll get out and see some of the some of the city. Maybe get out to Magnetic Hill. There you go. You have to go. PEI's not that far either. You can just kind of do a tour of the so Atlantic provinces. Magnetic or op optical illusion <laughs> on Magnetic Hill. They saw back in the Finland end of the ice. This gets cleared up at center. And back into the Slovak zone it goes and they'll regroup. Sturback. Winds his way to center, hits the red line, snaps it in. Imosalmi plays it off, escape, bounces up in the high slot, cleared up at center. Sikora goes after it. And this will get sent the rest of the way in. And back to Team Canada, we talked about Campbell as an example of redemption, get right back after it. Archery Lekkonen's father, Archery plays for the Colorado Avalanche, and his father's doing commentary for Finland TV, and he said to me during the second intermission, he said, this is Finland hot. And that's what Team Canada, just get back to playing your style and assert yourself. There's lots of tournament left. Reflected up at center ice, Kleiman and going after it. And he'll get it on for Nemitz. Nemitz turns at center. Nemitz will slide this in. Race to the corner boards after it. Simone Nemitz tries to get that up the wall. Kemmel was there as well. And this is bounced back. And Finland will pick up a clean victory. So with the overtime loss yesterday, Finland now with four points in this World Junior Championship. Slovakia right back at it tomorrow night. They will go against Team USA, so it doesn't get any easier for Slovakia, but a nice bounce back game here for Finland. Yeah, a very nice bounce back game for Finland and for Slovakia, you know, getting ready for the Wednesday tilt versus the USA. Ivan Fenish, the coach, he can point to a few mistakes, clean them up, and you got an opportunity, but